Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a little haul of everything that I bought from Target when I went school supply shopping. If you have not already, definitely go check out my last video where I went school supply shopping and I took you guys along. Also, I think I'm going to include a little what's in my bag for school, what I'm actually going to be burning. I honestly didn't need that many school supplies this year, but I ended up getting more than I anticipated for. First thing I got that was not in my last video because I actually ordered it online and it came literally yesterday right after I came home from Target. It's a dino stuffed animal and it's like huge. Their head is bigger than my head. This is like my emotional support stuffed animal. A very necessary school supply. Comment down below what I should name them. I do not know the gender either. So comment any names for my dino. Now actually moving on to what I bought. That bag was so heavy. From Target yesterday. First up, I got a planner. I ended up getting this one because I didn't find any other ones that I liked. It was upside down. It's very colorful, which I love. It's by the brand... I think it's Blue Sky Thimble Press for Blue Sky. This was the only planner, I swear, the only planner that the monthly view and also the weekly view did not have any lines. I write really big, so I don't necessarily like having lines in my planner. It also starts from July of this year, which is perfect. I'm pretty happy and satisfied with this purchase. Next, I got folder paper, a necessity. I actually ran out of folder paper, which is kind of crazy because usually I don't, but I did. This is my favorite one. It is more expensive than the other ones, I think, because it's five star and it comes with the plastic, I don't know what they're called, reinforcement tape, says right there. I should have just read that. And the paper in general is really thick and we like thick. Next item is this pink folder. I love pink. Period. I do not know what happened to the five star, their regular plastic, pretty like thick folders because now they only have the ones with this clear pocket or this ugly design. I didn't film it because I was by myself and there is a lot of people by the folders, but the design was so ugly. Not even gonna lie. And there was this gray thing, this huge gray thing on all the colors. Anyway, I got this one though. If you didn't see my last video, I mentioned that I'm only taking three classes, technical classes. I'm taking Japanese, English, English and dance and then I'm TAing for college counselors. So it's mostly only Japanese and English I need stuff for. And this so happens to just have two pockets, which is perfect. Makes so much noise. I don't know why, but whenever I get Sharpies, I end up using them a lot and then they dry out. Or the tip gets really like fat, you know, it like smashes down. Sharpies. I took the longest the longest time trying to decide what pens to get because I didn't want any gel pens because I have a ton of gel pens already and a lot of them smear really easily. So I wanted to get ballpoint pens and I didn't know which ones were good. I got this one, they were $4, but they were on sale. They're originally like $5, I think. Not a huge sale price. I will try these out and let you guys know. They're the Big Round Stick Grip Extra Comfort Consistent Fluid Writing. That's what caught my attention. If you guys have ever tried these pens, also let me know your thoughts on them. This one comes with 26, which I feel like it's a pretty good deal. Oh my God. Tell me this is not the cutest notebook you've seen. Like it's so aesthetic and minimal. This was not in the back school section. This was in the regular office and stationary section. So technically it's not really a school notebook per se. The pages are like tan. It's, it's giving me the vibes. I just bought this because I could not resist and I always like having just an extra notebook just in case. I also got these mini notebooks. They were just so cute and aesthetic. They're really thin. There's only 28 pages in each one, but look at the designs. How could you say no? This one was also in the regular office stationery section. I don't know what that's gonna be used for. This one is not really a school supply per se, but it is Starface pimple patches. 
This one is Blue Stars and it's the Hydro Star plus Silicic Acid. If you're friends with me and you know me personally, I love wearing pimple patches, especially in public and at school. I have a whole collection of pimple patches. They just bring me so much joy. More pens. Oh wait, these are my mom's. My mom got these. They're the Pilot G2 Fine 0.7 millimeter black ink gel pens. I ended up getting two post-its from the school supply section. They were a dollar each. I got them in blue and pink. Originally, I put the mint color in my cart because I've never seen a mint post-it before, but then I thought I was gonna get bored of the color, so I switched it to blue. I also got a post-it three-pack. There's blue, light green, and bright green. This was in the office supplies, and it was actually cheaper than getting three of the one dollar post-it notes, and these ones I'm gonna give to my teacher because I used all her post-it notes last year. I also got post-it flags. These I'm gonna use for my books. And speaking of books, I got a book. I'm probably gonna finish this book before school starts because I love reading now. I was debating between this one, which is Good Girl, Bad Blood, the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I absolutely love. And I also was looking at Verity by Colleen Hoover. I decided to read this one because I kind of just finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, but I definitely do want to read Verity. So that'll probably be the next book that I buy after I finish this one. There are two more things that I got. The first thing is the X. Bressy by Essie. This is their quick dry nail polish in the color Daily Grind 95. Nice name, nice name. This I think is white. I say I think because I looked at the color on the Target display thing and it said it was white. But you know, looking, oh, beauty guru moment in the bottle, it does not look white. Last thing I got was this mini micellar, micellar. I'm gonna be a senior and my pronunciation skills are not it. Micellar wa cl cleansing water. I thought the mini version would be easier to carry around for dance competitions and performances and stuff like that. That is the end of my haul. Now on to what is in my bag and what I'm actually gonna be bringing to school. Okay, I have packed my bag. I'm gonna be bringing a tote bag again this year. Last year, I started off with a backpack and by October, I switched to tote bags. And throughout the year, I've actually had, I think maybe four different tote bags just because I like switching them up. And also the straps would get kind of worn out a little bit because my bag is not the lightest. This one was definitely one of my favorite tote bags from last year. It's by the brand Bagu. And I like that it's kind of rectangular instead of like long because I'm short. So it looks very big on me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this bag exactly. I wanna get the green one in the same pattern. Since I still don't know, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm bringing in this bag. There's also strap, which is really cute. And this long strap. First off, in this zippered pocket, this is the only pocket or compartment in this bag. I'm gonna have my phone. This just gives me easy access to it. I'm also gonna be bringing an extra mask and my mom ordered these off Amazon. It's really cool because they're all individually wrapped, which is great if you don't want to get any like germs on it before you actually use them. That is all in that pocket. Again, I didn't start school yet, so I might add or take out stuff. This is just kind of the general idea though. Moving on to the big main pocket. First, I have this water bottle, which is really cute. It's from Lululemon. This one I find keeps my drinks super cold and the ice still in ice form. It is kind of small, but I found out last year that I don't drink that much water during school. My iPad. This is the iPad. Pro. It's the normal size, I think. I used this all last year to take all my notes and it was very useful in my opinion. I love taking notes on here. My case, however, got super dirty from school. Anyways, comment down below if you guys are interested in seeing a what's on my iPad or how I take notes for school. I'm down to do that. Then I have my planner and I love that it's really thin and it's pretty light. And then I have my pink folder, which I put some folder paper in already. And of course, I'm gonna have a book. Again, probably gonna be a different book, but I will have a book in here. And then I have this cute pouch, which is so cute and aesthetic. This is also from Target. I got it last year and low-key matches my bag, just a little bit. 
This is kind of like a random pouch that I keep things that are kind of small and I don't want to get lost in my bag. First up, I have a little cube thing to charge my phone along with a cable and a portable charger. I find that I actually use a lot of battery at school. Not that I'm not paying attention. I pay attention. It's just sometimes they gave us a lot of free time. Then I have a scrunchie. I love scrunchies and sometimes it gets really hot in Hawaii. There is no AC in my high school, only in certain classrooms. Eyelash curler, some mints. I definitely have to get more before the school year starts. Running low. Whiteout, which does not fit in my pencil case. Kopari lip glossy, which is like a lip balm and lip gloss in one. And I absolutely love it. I also like to carry some wired regular Apple headphones because if my airpods die that would be tragic <laughs> my post-it notes a tiny mirror in case i need to look at something i don't know i have this just in case i've never really used it though sanitizer this is one of my favorite sanitizers not because i necessarily like the sanitizer i just like the packaging this is the touchland power mist hydrating hand sanitizer in appalicious I have some band-aids because I'm always getting hurt somehow. I'm just very clumsy. And then I have some Q-tips, which a lot of people, a lot of my friends make fun of because I always carry these around because my makeup smudges. These are very useful, guys. And then I have some pads in here. In that pouch, I would also have gum, but I ran out of gum because I ate it all. I have this gum instead. This one is so good. It's pink mint flavor, but this one is very big and loud so not gonna bring that to school i also always have my wallet and this thing which carries my airpods and i have my keys on here lastly in my bag pencil case i'm trying to be very minimalistic this year because i don't want my bag to be heavy and also i don't have that many classes first i just have some 0.3 lead even though i write really hard i like the way that 0.3 pencils look and i use this pencil i actually have a lot of mechanical pencils from japan this is one of my favorite ones it has chip and dale and and it has accents of pink and blue literally so cute i also have this ballpoint pen guys literally my favorite pen but it's so expensive it looks like the pencil i just showed you but it's a pen and then i have this ballpoint pen which is also one of my favorites it's from muji which i bought in japan again it's running out of ink japan definitely has the best stationery ever in my opinion a black sharpie this which are scissors they're tiny compact scissors also from japan and then i have this pen i have too many stationery that the past few years that i went to japan and bought stationery i don't need to buy any more for the next 10 years that's how much i have bought this is the zebra click art pen it's kind of like a thin marker and it's in this cute little light blue moment i also have one mild liner highlighter in the light pink i used to carry like 10 different color highlighters but again using my ipad so i technically don't need highlighters and lastly i have two pens from the pack that i just bought in blue and black and that is all that is in my little tote bag isn't it so cute if you guys enjoyed watching this video definitely leave a like below and subscribe to see more fun great content by me see you guys in my next video bye Walking downtown and I'm okay He's got it all figured out